Hello, welcome back. And we've skipped the intro again so we can just get right into it. This is a four part mini series with Inner Series where I try and reuse a bunch of scrap fabrics from my style pile box that has become boxes. In the last two episodes, we made a fox plushie and an eye mask. And in this episode, we'll be using our scrap fabrics and two new materials, embroidery threads and a wooden hoop to make some embroidery hoop art. Scrap fabrics are great to use for embroidery, especially as you can get embroidery hoops in just about any size you need. So those really pretty but tiny fabric scraps that you can't bear to throw out, well, you can get teeny tiny hoops just for those. These little hoops are from an Etsy store and they make cute tiny hoop art knickknacks or pendants for necklaces. So this is how to set fabric into an embroidery hoop. First, I found a piece of scrap fabric that was slightly larger than the embroidery hoop that I wanted to use. I cut this scrap down to size, but I also made sure that it's at least a couple of inches wider than the hoop all the way around. Then I opened the embroidery hoop up and I placed the small hoop down at the back and I put the fabric on top of this. The bigger hoop then goes on top of this, pop. Then I tightened a screw to hold it all in place. And if your fabric's really cute, you could even leave it like this, or you can paint on it, draw on it, or you can do some embroidery, which is what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. And I'm gonna do some time lapses for a couple of the hoops that I made, showing you some essential stitches that I use all the time in embroidery along the way. So let's go. On this floral scrap piece of fabric, I freehanded a heart shape with some erasable chalk. Then I did an outline of this heart using a back stitch and and I filled in the shape with a satin stitch. And I'll have links to more detailed videos showing you how to do all of these stitches, as well as how to thread an embroidery needle and how to knot your thread in the description box below. So you'll be totally sorted to make your own hoop art. On this plain cream colored piece of scrap fabric, I drew an outline of a tree with a water soluble marker. And then I did a satin stitch for the tree trunk and branches with brown thread and an outline stitch for the tree's leaves. And then I filled in the tree's leaves with a long and short stitch. This stitch is really similar to satin stitch, but it's useful for filling in larger shapes than what a regular satin stitch can handle. Also, I did little guide stitches around the circle shape of the leaves to guide my long and short stitches. And I actually put this one into one of those mini hoops. I'm going to make it into a necklace pendant. Lastly, to finish off the hoop and to make the edges all nice, first I folded them in like this and I really roughly hand stitched it into place, pulling the thread tight to make the fabric all fold in all around the edges like this. Now, I know it doesn't look that pretty, but that doesn't matter because I'm about to cover that up. To make it nicer on the back, I grabbed some more scraps that were big enough, traced around the hoop with some chalk to get the approximate size of the hoop, cut this out and cut it small around the edges, about five eighths of an inch from the edge. And then I placed it on the back of the hoop and I hand sewed the edges to the first piece of fabric, but I did it a little bit more neatly this time. I'm still not great at hand stitching, as you can see. And I did kind of rush this one but that doesn't matter because you can't see the back of the embroidery hoop once it's hanging up anyway. To hang up the hoops, I got a piece of twine and I threaded it through the top of the hoop and then I tied a little bow and then I put it on a hook on the wall. I'm currently making a little section of embroidery art and photos on the wall in my stairwell and these are all the other hoops that I've added to it so far. This daisy one here was made with fabric from an old pair of black jeans. And I did this cute daisy stitch on them. I showed you all how to do this stitch back in Style Pile episode 17. This daisy stitch is useful for covering large amounts of fabric really quickly. I also made this little guy also using that scrap jeans fabric. Luchi requested that I make this one for him because one of his favorite animals are frogs. I made this rabbit one with a checkered fabric left over from Style Pile episode 14. Now after this experience, I don't recommend using fabric with stripes or checks for hoop art because it's really hard to get it to sit in a frame without the fabric going all wobbly and wonky. I might end up cutting this one out and making it into a patch instead. And the most recent one that I've made is this floral pattern that I traced out of a Japanese embroidery pattern book on that same cream scrap fabric as the tree pendant. The outlines are done using a split stitch and the flowers are all French knots. And I'll put links for all these stitches in the description so you can all learn how to do them too. So I'm going to keep adding more embroidery art to this wall because I've recently fallen back in love with embroidery and have been practicing it like every day. So get ready to see some more embroidery videos pop up on my channel too, cause I'm currently obsessed. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part four of this scrap busting mini series and I'll see you all next time. Bye.
Psst. Do you love puns? Does your sewing machine need some punny stickers to jazz it up? Do you love patches that proclaim your love for sewing? Or make thrift buy? Stickers, patches and posters are currently 20% off in my DFTBA store until the 28th of November and they would make the perfect Christmas presents and stocking fillers for anybody who loves sewing, so check them out! Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon who help to keep this channel running and allow me to continue making videos for you all. To become a supporter, and seriously, just $1 a month helps out so much, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.